everyone, I'm Jess and this is Popcorn. So she's so pregnant right now. She's gonna have babies probably within the next 10 days. So let me show you what I have gotten for the whole puppy process. Very anxious about it. I've gotten everything what you could think of to get. But I've been trying to get her very used to this area. This is her first litter very first litter so uh, yeah these puppies say hi hi my name's popcorn yeah so she's probably she's just exhausted she's sleeping all the time now it's what most dogs at this stage she's at day 54 so I mean they're coming puppies come around day 60 63 it just really depends. So I've been taking her to work with me. I've been taking her everywhere. I've been trying to stay home as much as possible. I have a few people helping me with this, but mostly it's just me and her against the world. But if you're planning on breeding in a room, make sure there's no carpet. And if there's carpet to put down a tarp and do towels, um, puppy pads, have everything good, sanitary, ready. And then so I'm planning on sleeping right next to her. So in my extra bedroom, just having an extra bed. So at night I can just roll over. If she needs anything, I can easily take her outside to go potty. She's just gonna be completely monitored during this whole puppy process. Just have some like extra towels laying around. You're always definitely gonna need them and get a nice whelping box this one i got off amazon it's a garden bed and you know it's perfect size for her um and then also this heating pad so puppies you have to make sure that they stay warm and so having a nice puppy pad for heating is so good we i also have a little space heater right here i put down a tarp to make sure that nothing gets on the carpet, anything through there. Um, you see, she's just so big now. She's just a beached wheel. She just wants them out. So I will show you what I got. Everything. I always keep a thing of. I'll keep a thing of water here if she needs that. And then during the actual delivery, there is a calcium supplement which I will link below. It's really good uh, for her. So like during, it helps her push out each individual puppy. So you can see right on there, um, has amazing reviews. And then you want one of these suction things to suction out all of the, the fluids out of the puppies. This literally can save their life. So definitely have one of these and feeding feeding tubes really important and two different kinds so ones with little nipples in case you know the milk's clogged with her you never know what can happen and puppy pads lots of puppy pads very important you're gonna have to clamp the umbilical cords so when the puppies actually come i'll do a video on how we clamp them or i might use floss so just kind of depends and Alcohol wipes, cleaning purposes, yes, yes, yes. Make sure you always have a thermometer and take her temperature. And make sure you have a scale. Like, just get it like a baby scale, something like that, that calculates ounces. Make sure you have a um, some puppy formula. Really, really important. So you never know if they have too many puppies or if there's not enough milk. And then I recommend this Breeders Companion book. It's just really thorough on all the information it gives. So, um, yeah, it just walks you through step by step if you're planning on breeding ever. And yeah, so this is the scale that we have. It's, you know, just a regular baby scale. I've been weighing her quite often, and she went from. 13 pounds to like almost 17 now so 
yeah, each day she's going up a little bit. Well, we are really excited. And if anyone has anything else to share, we'd love to know. Or if you, hopefully you've learned something about this. So you say bye, Popcorn. All right, and we'll walk you through as her journey as she has puppies.